There are so many scanning options out there, but when it comes to choosing your scanner, the most important consideration is the output. Yes, there are quite a few options out there when it comes to scanners at different price ranges to cover off different budgets. But ultimately, you also need to consider what the output is gonna look like because you don't want to invest your hard-earned cash on your photo scanner to find the output does not work for you. In this video, I'm going to compare the different scanning options outputs so that you can see what the differences look like so you can make the right decision. The scanners. As I said, there are a lot of options out there. So for this comparison, I'm going to slim down the field to cover four main areas of photo scanning options. Firstly, we have a photo scanning app that you use on your phone, and I'm going to use Photomine. Then I have a fast speed photo scanner where you can just pick a stack of good quality flat photos, put it in the scanner, and it will do it quickly for you. For this, I'm going to use the Epson Fast Photo 680. Another option is a flatbed scanner where you have to lift the lid and put your photos in one at a time. For this option, I'm going to use the Epson V600. Lastly, I'm going to compare to camera scanning, which I know is more for professional scanners, but I am using it as a comparison so you can see what you could get if you ask a professional to scan your photos for you. The setup. There are all sorts of added extra features that you can use on different types of scanners like colour restoration or red eye removal. But to make this comparison as fair as possible, I am not going to use any of these settings. I'm going to switch off any form of colour restoration or adjustments that the scanner will do to the photo and scan at 600 dpi where I can influence the scanning quality. So that should make it as fair as possible. What is the outcome? Colour. Remember, from a colour point of view, we are not using the colour enhancements that could be available. However, there is quite a big difference between just the colour of the sand. So, the first on the left is the Photomine, which has done a decent job, but the colours have kind of gone a little bit on the red side for me. When it comes to the Fast Photo, which is the next image along, it has done a pretty decent job but there is still some colors that are slightly muted. When we get over to the V600, actually I quite like this color. The sky is a little bit muted, but the sand looks nice and rich and colorful, but there is an element of fade to the image. The last one is the camera scanning. Here you get an absolute richness of color. Look at that sky, how amazing does that look? But for some, it might feel there's a little bit too much color in there, but I like this kind of image. Resolution. As they say, the devil is in the detail. And when it comes to zooming in, this is where you can see the big difference between the different forms of scan. The photo mine on the left hand side, which is coming out as 72 dpi, has lost a lot of that detail. Yes, it's an original print, so the detail's not gonna be as clear as a normal digital image, but you can see it looks really blurry when we zoom in. Then when we move over to the fast photo and the V600, you can see the detail is looking pretty good. These are coming out at 600 dpi and you can really see the enhancement of that detail. When we get to the camera scanning, you can see this is where the detail is really there. The quality is really good and it's really starting to expose actually how poor the image is from the fact that it was a printed image. But what about color enhancement? Before you start saying this is not a fair comparison because I am not using the color enhancements that are available on the likes of the Epson Fast Photo and the V600, I couldn't leave this comparison without actually doing a comparison of the enhancements available. So this is a scan using the Epson Fast Photo with and without the color enhancements. You can see it almost it looks like an entirely different photo with the enhancements on, but I do find sometimes that the enhancements are a little bit too much, especially when it comes to green grass. So you can almost look fake with the enhancements, but it just goes to show it's worth also turning on these enhancements when doing your scanning. The conclusion. So it's not going to surprise any of you that I would say camera scanning gives you the best digital copy of your photos. And this comparison shows exactly the limitations of using a photo app on your phone. You are going to sacrifice quality for budget, but you don't have to invest time and money in learning how to do camera scanning to get a decent digital copy 
of your photos, you can use a photo specialist scanner and they will do a great job. So there you have it, a simple comparison of the outputs of different scanning methods. What is your go-to scanning option? I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead with a like, a share and a subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.